Hi, welcome to Teen Pride Book Talks. This is the program on AADL TV where I take a few minutes each episode to tell you about a young adult book that is both representative and inclusive of folks in the LGBTQIA community. My name is Lucy and the book that I am going to be telling you about today is called A Complicated Love Story Set in Space by Sean David Hutchinson. And the title of this book, A Complicated Love Story Set in Space, really tells you a lot about the book. It does take place in space and it is very complicated. There is a lot in this book. The working title that Sean David Hutchinson had for this book while he was writing it, he said was just gaze in space. And it is that too. So I'm gonna read you the first sentence just to give you a little bit of setup and how this story begins in space. One, I woke up on a spaceship. I'd crawled into bed, my hair still damp from the rain and shut my eyes, expecting to wake up in the same place I fell asleep as one tends to do, but no. When I opened my eyes, I was most definitely not in my room any longer, nor was I in my apartment in Seattle or even still on earth. I didn't actually wake up on the spaceship. Rather, I woke up outside it, wearing a spacesuit, drifting in the vacuum where there's no oxygen or gravity, and basically everything wants to kill you. Okay, so that was more than a few sentences, but that tells you where the story starts. And that is the voice of Noah, who is one of the main characters of this book. And he wakes up, as he says, outside the spaceship, floating in space. And there's a note inside Noah's helmet when he wakes up that says, no reason to panic which Noah thinks is sort of ridiculous because he feels very panicked. And then a voice comes through his helmet, through this communicator in his helmet, and tells him that there is someone on the spaceship. And this is the voice of DJ, who is another one of the main characters. DJ and Noah start a conversation about where they are a little bit and who they are a little bit, but mostly Noah's freaking out and he wants to somehow get on the spaceship. That seems like his best bet. So DJ, helps him travel through the airlock to get back on the spaceship. And this is where the complicated love story begins. Right from the beginning, DJ and Noah work on trying to figure out how they got here in space. And they meet another person on the spaceship. She's locked in a bathroom. Her name is Jenny Price. And she also has no idea how she got there. She is a teenager like Noah and DJ. And they are struggling now to both figure out how to survive in space and how to get home. So they have these two dilemmas and they're on a spaceship that they don't know how to operate. DJ is very good with computers. So he is able to turn on a reactor that they notice that has been turned off. And this will power everything up on the spaceship so that they can use the kitchen. They have electricity. They can eat more than just the bars that are left behind for them called Nutriche bars. And the Nutriche bars give you a hint in the beginning about how this book is going to pan out. Everything in the spaceship is branded and everything that they come across tells you where it's from, where the parent company is from. And one thing they come across is a hologram, also named Jenny. And this hologram is there to sort of direct them in a dubious way about how to survive and maybe how to get home. One thing that happens when DJ turns on the reactor is that the ship changes locations every 19 hours. So it travels through the space time continuum and ends up in a totally different place every 19 hours. While on the spaceship trying to figure out both how to survive and how to get home, DJ starts to develop strong feelings for Noah. And they start to think about maybe less about getting home and actually about how to exist in space where they are. Noah can't really let himself develop feelings for DJ. And we learn that this is because of a terrible relationship that he had on earth. We also learned from Noah that right before he fell asleep and woke up on a spaceship, he had been in a pretty depressed state in his life. And Noah on the spaceship, is sort of the pessimistic brooder. DJ's always trying to be optimistic. He's very patient with Noah. He's very protective of Noah. Noah is kind of uh, hard to be patient with because he's pessimistic and he complains about everything. We do learn more as the book goes on about 
what has caused some of Noah's hesitancy in getting into a relationship and his depression. And then Jenny is just an original. She is totally herself. She's unapologetic about it. She's very clear on what she wants. We learn that she is bisexual. So we have two gay characters in a potential relationship with each other and then a bisexual character. So the representation here is really strong. It's also not something that causes part of the tragedy in this book or the trauma. These are just teenagers who happen to be queer. As I said, there is some depression in this book. There is a depiction of sexual assault, but there's also love in many forms. There is romantic love, there's friendship, and there's sort of this need for these three characters to create their own unit. This book is very entertaining and very funny, and it is really complicated. Along the way, along the journey of trying to learn how to survive in space, learn to accept their situation, maybe fall in love, there is murder. There's a high school that they come across in space. They go to a strange high school dance. There's the hologram, as I said, named Jenny, who has her own interesting backstory. There's this recurring time loop. There's an alien monster attack. So it's all in here and it's all really fun. And you just don't expect any of it. Sean David Hutchinson just keeps the story going and keeps you guessing till the end. And when you think you've figured out what's going on, something dramatically shifts. And this happens all the way until the end of the book. And it's fun to read, but then the end when you realize how they got in space and what the situation is just makes it more complicated, but also more interesting and so well put together. This book has everything you could want in a plot. It has some major twists. It has these really fabulous characters who Sean David Hutchinson has created with a lot of depth. It's got a solid story of love and friendship. It's got space travel. It has a lot of adventure. It has comedy. So something for everyone. There's also, as I said, this exploration of past trauma and mental health. And so there's some important issues that come up, but they're dealt with sensitively. And because there is support and love and friendship, the characters are able to persevere. Essentially, this book is asking the question, what makes you, you? And that's something that Noah and DJ and Jenny have plenty of time to think about and discover and learn while they are in space together. So it is complicated. It is a love story. It is called A Complicated Love Story Set in Space. And I recommend that anyone read it because as I said, there's something for everyone. So give it a try.